Hello everyone, this is MJ Kim, MJ TV. Uh, today I want to uh, share the story about Ubuntu de uh, Desktop 2004 LTS. Um, I've been using Micro Pro Alliance server and a couple of different uh, you know, hard disk and uh, external. So, and then also I have a Netgear, those are NAS systems. So, first thing is that if, if you make an install disk, and either you can use the USB drive, or if you have a previous version of a um, um, Ubuntu 19, 17, so whatever it is, and then you can install from the current system. So if you install the you know USB uh, startup, either you can try, uh, just not in, uh, actually install from the your hard disk, or like uh, you can just install it with a. You can also make a partitions. Um, the this is a Ubuntu desktop, and then also you also you can download the um, all different. The version of uh, Ubuntu desktop. Currently, the up to date is a 2004 LTS. Those are version pretty uh, similar, like a graphic user interface. Uh, so pretty much the, the I, I think uh, the developer likes a purple, so also a purple and gradation with the orange. So it's a uh, big apps, and also we did very limited resources. Uh, so you can. Um, you know, use many things for example like even though you don't have a uh, 16 gigabyte uh, memory and then uh, this only occupies very limited resources so you know the basic things and you know if you uh, wants to buy a uh, Microsoft Office Office current version even the student version and the home version whatever it is at least uh, you pay monthly like ten dollars or like if you buy uh, like a full packages is hundred and twenty dollars a year but uh, for Ubuntu version, the Libro Office is already installed with the compatible with the Microsoft Office. As you can see, my uh, uh, system is a uh, AMD, like a dual core, which is a uh, 14 years old uh, the hardware, but it's uh, working very well. Uh, basically, I bought it from eBay and then um, from my location, and then the US, the Detroit is not that far away. So it takes um, um, uh, just 45 minutes to get there. So uh, I have a mailbox in the you know United States, uh, Detroit. So I just uh, brought them in to the to Canada. So it's 125 US. It's equivalent to 180. So you know with a micro server, you know it's a four gigabyte. But I, I upgrade to four, uh, 16 gigabyte. There is a one terabyte hard disk and the three bays are empty. And then I put uh, you know another three. Uh, different uh, you know three terabytes so it's total four terabyte but um, it's still the over 80 percent 85 percent are empty and so first thing is then I the one bay I installed the, the Ubuntu 2004 and the other the bay I installed the uh, Windows 10 the other ones then I installed Ubuntu 2004 server and the fourth bay I'm just using as a data so so to be upgraded so as you can see, the micro server is 125. That you know definitely is a used one, 125 bucks, and you can start uh, use uh, your server, and either you can just uh, install your Apache server, web server, like cloud server. Uh, many things you can do with uh, Ubuntu desktop. You know, if you consider to buy Windows, um, you know the server systems and you know the operating system as it is, it's very expensive. Also, Microsoft. Um, now uh, SharePoint, those are expensive one. The developers and enterprise is very expensive. Also, um, you know, the you can the have a, like a dual screens, nineteen twenty. You know, the, the graphic card as itself is not that great. So basically, I I bought the you know separate like a lower profile the graphic card, so which is uh, make me the you know the nineteen twenty uh, thousand eighty desktop but uh, if I using the bigger you know s the screen maybe they can support too because uh, I try to buy you know good one as much as I can even though it's a server system but uh, you can make a partitions and you know actually basically you can use that one as for fun the first things that you're gonna look at the uh, you know the platform the left side you know the micro this these things is it looks like a microsoft um outlook is almost similar like that that is a window media player and the liberal desk um uh, liberal office is a uh, you know they are providing 
you know, Excel, Microsoft Office, PowerPoint, it's ex exactly the same and compatible. And then you don't see any difference, much differences between Microsoft Office and Libro software. A uh, Libro software is an open source system, you don't have to pay nothing. So like, um, you know, it's pretty good. And also you you can install Kindle, Microsoft, uh, the Amazon Kindle, so you can uh, um, read uh, you know ebook and also OBS system. Um, it's same as like uh, you know you can uh, have it from so you know even Linux uh, like Ubuntu desktop as well. Uh, if you can see Ubuntu software, or the App Store, and you have a video or you have a Zoom, lots of like applications uh, you can uh, download it from the website. Also, you know there are two, uh, a couple different ways to be installed. Either you can uh, download it through the, the uh, Ubuntu Software App Store, or like you can use the terminals and then use the sudo install apt. apt. Whatever those are commands are pretty much a little bit complicated, but once you get used to it, and that terminal is a very powerful system. So um, uh, that and also the, I want to introduce a play on Linux. The plan on Linux is a virtual system that you can run um, all the Windows software uh, through the Wine. So, and then also you can see all the X, X on hard. So things like that, home, desktop, document, download, music. It's pretty much uh, the looks like the same as like, you know, like a Windows system. So also that you can have a other location, those are network. So if you have a multiple, like a share folders, uh, I have uh, like five, six share folder from the you know cloud systems. So uh, also the it's a good thing is uh, you can bring uh, your Google Drive to here uh, to access that. And also this is a ready cloud from uh, Western Digital, so you know the system uh, cloud system. Mm -hmm. So you, as you can see, there are like uh, um, uh, programs uh, like uh, the, all the extensions are pretty much organized. It's, you know. Um, you know, most people that, you know, they are concerning, oh, I never used the Ubuntu before, but this platform is uh, exactly the same as like Windows system, so I don't think uh, you have to worry about it. Once you play with a couple of days and you'll get used to it. Um, next thing is that um, very limited resources, uh, it runs very well, and also the, the 20.04 that version, the latest version, uh, that support the five years. Um, the my main concern for Ubuntu because uh, Ubuntu Linux desk, uh, desktop is uh, like open source uh, management systems with uh, like a free uh, distribution. So most likely the support is very short term. But 2004 is uh, they support five years. So you know, um, using uh, 2004 version for five years and not a problem at all. So. Uh, um, the other things that I want to share about these things that are, you know, this uh, play on Linux and support uh, all different kind of uh, window version and all the virtual machine system. So, um, you know, like uh, I want to like install the different things, uh, messengers that does the, the ones that doesn't support from um, the uh, for the uh, the Ubuntu the Linux system, but also using this play on Linux and you can also open or open up uh, most. Uh, Windows system, uh, Windows the app application software, so um, that's really you know beneficial for you to the, to keep using the Ubuntu system. You know I used to, you know the go back and forth from Windows 10 and Ubuntu, back and forth. Not we don't have to do anymore because of you know the remote desktop soft software, and then also you can connect to the Mac and you can connect to the all different things. So basically, uh, if, as long as you have a Ubuntu system, then connect to the uh, the IP address with a win remote um, window desktop, I can upload it. Uh, I can uh, share the screen, and actually uh, using all the system um, from Ubuntu, uh, uh, Mac OS, Catalina, or like uh, if you have a multiple computer at home, and then try to uh, like. Uh, or control the IP address uh, such as uh, 192, uh, 192 1.6.8, 1.1234567 up to the 255 devices. As long as you don't turn it off, the, the computer computer devices that the uh, IP uh, stay as the same IP unless uh, you turn it off or 
there is a there is a power power outage. It doesn't have to uh, redistribute all the you know, address. So you know basically uh, you can use the multiple platform uh, using this Ubuntu system as a just terminal. The other things that I want to share about uh, there are the, um, you know like uh, you know if you see the uh, I you know all the app stores, MindTest and the Chromium and the you know other, all other software you can uh, download it. Most likely uh, they don't charge nothing. Those are any open source uh, program uh, they will supply it for it. So you can just play with uh, many uh, different software. Also you can see the, the open source. And if you want to develop uh, uh, better than uh, that software that developer made it, and then you can just upgrade it and just uh, try to change uh, many things. Um, so uh, this is uh, how it looks like it. So if you uh, install the program, there's a bin, boot, CDROM, DV. The home, home version is uh, you have uh, like a document, download music, pictures, all the breakdown, and you can see the that home the like uh, I you know folder the other folder is just for system so if you want to try to find the uh, um, some you, what you download either you check it from the de uh, desktop document uh, download or you can go just directly go to home especially if you have a, a multiple partitions like a different drive and then if you want to see the you know same platform like uh, document download all the file that once you like it and then you just uh, click the other locations and then f uh, go to the home the folder and then you also see the document and download all the music pictures and videos so that's what uh, you're gonna do it uh, what else I want to tell you uh, um, just go down Also, as you can see here, um, you know there are these icons, and when you want to the shut it down or reboot, and you can use that, or the Bluetooth uh, connections or Wi-Fi, and then all the language the uh, changes, and uh, those are like uh, the programs that it runs, uh, start up, so all kind of uh, you know changes and uh, or like a system profiles, you know you can find there. And that ones that if you want to pop up all the application that once you to you want to run, and then you can uh, the click this one and the, all the program pop up the ones you install the pop up, and this is the start of disk. So first thing then you can boot from USB, and then also you can use that to try out. So like you know you don't have to install it. Basically this is run as a Ubuntu 10, 2004. But uh, if you um, the run with uh, this uh, USB and it, the ones you uh, install that one that doesn't um, you know save it uh, from your so basically you can download the program but the, the ones you install it it will not uh, save in your uh, main system. <laughs> so what do you think uh, this? Uh, um, the Ubuntu desktop, you know, pretty cool, right? So, um, I've been using this Ubuntu, uh, or like a Red Hat OS, the Linux, uh, with the terminal before it comes with a GUI graphic user interface. The Linux is pretty much powerful program, so I like it. So, if you consider to install. Um, this uh, Ubuntu system, and then uh, you never, you are not gonna regret anything, because uh, it's more benefit uh, than you don't have it. Because Windows 10, uh, if you want to install many things, and you, know, you gotta buy it, or like uh, have a memberships and buy a, you know, OneDrive and buy a, um the many applications, uh, cloud systems, and for with the Ubuntu, then you don't have to pay nothing, almost nothing. And then also, if you are developers, and actually, it's a Linux system is pretty good platforms.
Um, so this is a platform for like uh, you know Firefox and then YouTube, and you can see, um, you know, uh, if you as long as you install for their uh, groceries uh, and their rent. Uh, this is a no, Google, I know uh, Microsoft that our young people's. Uh, now this is a uh, um, I had to Chrome menu, it's like a uh, Google Chrome's, and also you can install. Um, you can just sign in, sync in yours, your account, the Google account, and then actually you can see all the extensions in it. So basically, whatever you use from the different system, exactly pop up to the here. Okay. So this is YouTube. Uh, you know, I don't see any difference between the uh, Mac OS and uh, this Ubuntu software and pretty convenient and then you don't regret if you install especially if you don't have uh, not much resources and then you if you buy <coughs> a very old if you bought very old uh, you know profile or laptop uh, this is very good uh, to try uh, with the Ubuntu because that doesn't uh, have uh, need to much the you know the resources for your, from your PC or laptop. Okay, so um, next time I want to share more story about the application as itself. Uh, this is just basic the Ubuntu introduction, and then that's the new uh, that the new changes. So um, you know the Ubuntu desktop as it is is pretty cool. Okay, thank you.